Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign, Saggy, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. <clears throat> With that said, remember they are general readings, not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Your key to the week this week is the strength card, right? At the core of your being, there is always a personal compass. Whatever it points to is the thing that you want the, the most, right? Just like Cat and Jack Sparrow. Um, all jokes aside, this week, my dear Sagittarians, you are being asked to really ask yourself what is at the core of what you're doing right now, all right? Um, the reason this is coming up, I feel, and this is just an intuitive hit because it's, you know, there's only one card, so you can't read everything from just that. But my intuition kind of feels like you're walking a path at the moment and there is a part of you that is unsure about whether this is the right way for you to go. And that strength card is really asking you to look into the heart space at your core center, uh, at the core of your being. What is it telling you, right? What is your intuition? But more importantly, what is your heart telling you? Is this the right direction for you to go in? And more importantly, um, is it almost like, is the reason that you're having the doubt it's not because you don't have the strength, it's not because you don't have the courage, it's because you're unclear on your motivation. And I kind of feel like that might be the case this week. So really check in with yourself and ask yourself, why am I doing this? What is the reason? What is the purpose behind it? This is a week to really check in with your own motivations. And I think the more honest you are with yourself this week, the better things can be. With that, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. For your actions and options, you've got the devil card. This is really like if there were ever a week to check yourself, if there were ever a week to check in with why you are doing something, this would be the week. What does your heart tell you? Are you in your integrity? Nine times out of 10 with the Sagittarius, they absolutely are. And they're also in everybody else's integrity as well. They will make sure that you are in yours in any way, right? Um, but that devil card, it kind of does feel like maybe something that you're chasing at the moment is either, a, a, what's the word? It's either an obsession or you are maybe utilizing that to mask a deeper feeling. And I kind of feel like this week you are going to have to strip away the layers in some way. And I really think that that would be a, a worthy use of your time. All right. Uh, with that, your communications and conversations, you have the uh, King of Swords, right? So this is a really powerful card to have for communications because it suggests that really your words, what you share with the world are more influential than they usually are. This is a week where people are looking to you for your opinion, for your understanding, for your wisdom, for your knowledge, for your, maybe even your status, right? And so this week, making sure that you are in your alignment and your integrity is gonna be everything. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, that King of Swords is really asking you to be nimble of mind. We know you're intelligent as a sign, um, but this is about being able to be you know, adaptable and nimble, right? And, you know, your mutable fire. Fire itself is movable and changeable. Uh, you've got a mutable sort of mode of being as well. And so this can means that you can be really adaptive and it means you can be really responsive. 
but that King of Swords is really asking you in your studies. This is about specializing, right? It's about you starting to get specific. You've got to be nimble and free, let's say, of mind enough to say, okay, you know what? I've got a broad enough knowledge of this. I now need to start really homing in on some of the detail, all right? So keep your mind flexible this week. When it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, um, interactions with the boss, the words that I'm hearing is uh, a line from my famed uh, magical mama. Uh, she said this to me when I was, oh gosh, I think she didn't actually say it to me. I read it in one of her books and um, it stuck with me ever since. And I kind of feel like this is the message for those of you that are employed by somebody else. Some things are set for you and not by you. That was a really hard lesson for 19-year-old Raph to take on board. Um, but it was one that I really needed at that time and taking it on board really helped me a lot. So give some consideration to that this week. Maybe a boss or a superior or even the organisation are telling you to do something. Maybe you don't like it. Um, first of all, dig into why, and second, maybe it's time to, to have that, that moment where it's like, okay, you know what, this isn't about me. All right, when it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, people that work for themselves, that King of Swords really suggests that you, you have the potential to be the authority, right? And this is for all of you Sagis in some way, um, you have the potential to be that authority, but in order to do so, you are going to have to maybe toe the line in some ways that maybe feel uncomfortable. Maybe you like the freedom of not being in charge because you can get away with doing things with your own natural flair. Whereas when you're in a position of authority or a position of power, or you start to make some of the rules, you do have to adapt what you're doing for a broader market or a broader reach. And so this might be something like that. When it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, uh, honestly, it looks like a lot of you are doing the paperwork, getting your will together, um, maybe looking at your, uh, you know, all of the, the background sort of stuff that you do, you know, as you get into retirement and stuff, not necessarily sexy, not exactly stuff that makes you smile, but stuff that is important to do nonetheless. And it's like you're having to really find the courage to do it. Um, for the, your love and relations, you've got the, the Knight of Swords. You've got this underneath the Devil card. Um, I almost want to say, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, it's like this week you want to be bothered. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like... Um, maybe not necessarily the partner is doing anything that annoys you, but because you're already in that ratty state, it's like you're looking for things to to kind of obsess or, uh, you know, even regress over. Um, try to avoid that this week, because if you get into conflict with a partner, what you see as a transient argument could end up going on or running on for a lot longer than you'd hoped. For those of you that are single, if you're meeting someone this week, I would be very conscious of what is on offer uh, on both sides. What are you really willing to offer to a potential partner? Is it just fun or is it something more? Are they just wanting fun or do they want something more? Clarity is going to be key in any form of new relationship this week because you might think it's one thing and you may end up getting way more than you bargained for or way less than you'd hoped for. So, you know, for your money and materials, you've got the King of Cups. You've got two kings here. Two kings represents minor counsel uh, or minor consultations, let's say. So this could be as simple as checking in with a business advisor. It could be checking in with a financial advisor, very possible. The King of Cups could also suggest as well that maybe you're doing some form of emotional spending this week. And with the Devil card in the actions and options, you could be filling your feels or the void of feels with everything but sort of the intelligence that you have. Um, watch out for that this week. But it's a good week to have a conversation with a professional around money, around finances, especially if you're planning to launch a business or something like that. When it comes to your um, 
physical health and vitality. This is your reproductive system. In fact, this would actually be a good week to um, check in with a doctor. Uh, and then for your home and environment, I mean, the King of Cups is nice for the home because it suggests that you're wanting to make it a, a more harmonious or a more healing environment. So check in with that. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.